Hey YouTube, what is up guys? What's cracking? It's Rules for Rebels here and in today's video we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to set up uh, Merch Informer uh, after you first sign up for it. So real quickly just to recap if anyone didn't watch my previous video, Merch Informer is an Amazon analytics program for the Amazon Merch program. So the same way that Terapeak gives us inside stats and inside data on um, eBay, the same way that Jungle Scout gives us inside stats and inside sales data on Amazon. Uh, merch Informer does the same thing, but helps you do analytic research for Amazon Merch. And it's a little bit tricky to set up. Not, you know, they give a really, Merch Informer gives some really good guidance. I think the reason it's a little bit tricky for some people is because you're having to have an Amazon Merch account. You need an Amazon Associates account, which is the Amazon affiliate program. And then you need an Amazon Web Services account. So uh, there's three different programs that you need. And I think that's where it gets a little bit tricky for some people. Uh, but just to recap, this is Merch Informer. I just pulled a search on the search term weed. And you can see here, we can see the product features that these people have selected. We can see their description. If we want to favorite it, we can favorite it. We can do a copyright check and see if anyone has a copyright on those terms. Uh, we can report copyright infringement or we can do a competition check and see how many other people are using this product label, 15 other people. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video real quick to show you one other really neat tool on here, uh, but it's gonna take a second to search. Uh, so we'll go over to advanced uh, checker and uh, let's type in weed, same thing. And I'm just gonna pause the video because these searches can take, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 seconds. Okay, so that only took about five seconds there. The keyword phrase was weed. Uh, the total results was 83,769. Of those results, only 983 were merch t-shirts, but they scored an F. So basically they're saying either the competition for this is very stiff, um, or they're saying that there's just not enough people buying the shirts. Um, I think it's more of a, a question of competition here, but this is what merch is. I just wanted to show, kind of give you guys a quick overview before we get into how to set it up. So I already have mine set up. So, you know, short of disconnecting everything and starting fresh, I won't be able to go through step by step, but I'll walk you guys through this process and if at any point you guys are running into any hiccups like, oh, I don't know what to put for access key or whatever else, feel free to ask me and I'll, I'll try to chime back in with a comment and help you. So hello, uh, Merch by Amazon users. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly set up Merch Informer with the Amazon API keys that you will need. The process is fast and should take no longer than 15 minutes. Please keep in mind that both of these keys are needed to pull product information from the Amazon API. So um, the first step within your Amazon Merch program, you're going to type in your name, you're going to put in your email. One thing to note, you, you're going to want to use the same email address for Amazon Mer for Merch Informer. Uh, you're going to want to have the same email address for your Amazon Associates program. You're going to want to have the same email address or the same login for your Amazon Web Services um, and also your Amazon Merch account. Um, now this you can plug in. We're going to need to get an access key, a secret key, and your associates tag, uh, let me show you quickly what the associates tag is, Amazon associates. The, the associates tag is the one thing I was a little bit confused on. And if you go up to the top right of your Amazon associates program, that's gonna be your tag. You can have multiple tags, but that's gonna be your tag there. So uh, let's get back over here. Amazon associates tag is gonna be what I just showed you. You're gonna go to your Amazon associates program to get this. Now for this, you will need to have an Amazon associates program, which is the Amazon affiliate program and you're gonna need this for the tag. Uh, you're also gonna need an Amazon Web Services account. Um, and if you don't have all these, go sign up for them. So if you don't have an Amazon Web Services account, which I imagine most of you don't, I know I didn't, uh, you just click here and go sign up. Uh, and as, you, as they say here, important, you must create both of the accounts under the same email address for Merchant Informer to work. Uh, so I already commented on that, but just really wanted to stress that. Uh, AWS will prompt you to enter your credit card details. Now it's not going to cost you anything. Remember it is free and it's just a step into Amazon web services. I think with Amazon web services, you can run ad, ad campaigns and buy things. So for that reason, you need to have a credit card on file, but you're not going to be charged anything and it's not going to cost you anything to do this. Uh, step number three, you now need to, uh, complete the API agreement in order for the AWS keys you are about to make to function correctly. So to do this, you're gonna visit this link right here. Uh, when it asks for description, you're gonna put in t-shirt software and click continue. Um, you're gonna return to the Amazon Web Services, which you can get here and click on the name at the very top of the page. Uh, and when you click your name, it's gonna pop down a box that says security credentials. 
and you're going to pre be presented with a pop-up like this. Now you're going to click continue to security uh, credentials and then you're going to click on uh, access keys, access ID and secret access key. You're going to click the blue button and create, create a new access key. Now um, let's see, create access key. Your access key uh, has been created successfully. That's how you know it worked. You're going to download your key file, which contains a new access key. I'm sorry, key ID and secret access key. If you do not download the key file, you will not be able to retrieve it later. So it will pop up for you on the screen, just like it looks here. Uh, you can also, however, download like a notepad account, or actually I think it's an Excel, Excel file that's also going to have these in here. Save them somewhere because if you navigate away from this page, you're not going to be able to get them back. Now, copy and paste these access keys. Um, you're going to go up to, you know, your access key is going to go here. Your secret key is going to go here. And again, your Amazon Associates tag, which is right there, you're going to put into that bottom box there. Let's catch up to where, where were we at. Um, next, you need to create your Amazon Associates account. Um, you may just want to create all these accounts before you even get started with this process, but whatever. Um, I already had one, so this is my Amazon Associates account. Um, during the sign-up process, they are going to ask you about your website. If you do not have a website, simply enter in your Facebook details during the process. Once you confirm your account, look near the top of the page, and you will see something that looks like this. So uh, that's what I just showed you. Uh, to the direct right of your store, you will see your associate ID, uh, and you're going to want to paste that into Merchant Informer. So again, access key, secret key, and your associates tag is going to go right here. Um, we're almost done here. Uh, the next step, you should have all the information set up in Merchant Informer on the profile screen. Simply hit the Submit button, and at that point, your Amazon... Um, I'm sorry, your Amazon. At that point, your Merchant Informer account should look uh, should allow you to search. So you can come over here and you can look at the product searches like we did. You can look at your favorites tab. Uh, you can do the advanced competition checker. Um, or if you go to your dashboard, you can watch some videos that kind of give you an overview of how these searches work and the type of data and the type of tools that you have at your disposal. So I know this can be kind of confusing, guys. I apologize. I couldn't do an older over the shoulder view showing you guys how to hook everything up. I mean, I guess I could have, but I would have had to delete all my details and start over and I didn't feel like doing that. But uh, hopefully this walkthrough was pretty helpful for you guys. I will link in the description box below to this exact page. So if you're having trouble, you can kind of kind of walk through. But I mean, they give you screenshots. They give you kind of a step-by-step -step of how to do everything. Uh, probably the biggest hiccups or biggest uh, points where people are going to make mistakes, I, I think is going to be people not using the same email address for all three accounts. That is critical to make sure it works. Uh, but aside from that, I mean, I, I think Merchant Informer did a great job of walking through exactly how to do this. If for some reason you guys have any hiccups, you guys have any questions, you guys are getting any error messages, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to try to help you out. Um, also, in the Merchant Informer video I made the other day, somebody dropped a, com dropped a comment saying like, hey, I couldn't get mine hooked up. I contacted Merchant Informer support. I never heard back. And Merchant Informer, I, I got to give them credit, guys. Within like probably a couple hours of that being posted, Merchant Informer commented right below. They said, please let us know what you need help with. They said all our help tickets have, have been... Uh, have been taken care of. So they were really on top of things. Their support seems to be top notch. Um, if you have any problems, get in touch with me. I'll, I'll try to get in touch with, uh, I think it's Neil is the guy who created this. I'm trying to get him on for an interview. Um, and I did see he commented back to me and said he emailed me. I haven't gotten his email yet, but I'm going to try to get him on for an interview um, to talk a little bit more about this program, how it can help you merch sellers, et cetera. Maybe we can get him to do a, a guest vlog and kind of give us some secret tips, tricks, whatever. Um, but yeah, for any of you guys who are having problems with this, uh, I will link in the description box below to this walkthrough. Feel free to ask me questions or Merchant Informer's support is, is top notch as well. So uh, drop your questions in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to be doing some follow-up videos on Merchant Informer, how to use it, uh, showing some searches, etc. So stay tuned, guys. We've got a lot of great content coming at you later this week and in the coming weeks. And I look forward to seeing all you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.